Yo, while this YouTube channel is primarily focused on Cosmos, the Cosmos ecosystem, and announcements such as minute launches, airdrops, and all those kind of things, I've also always been extremely interested in other ecosystems outside of Cosmos. For example, we did a lot of content around Hedera Hashgraph. We did Avalanche interviews with Imin himself, with the head of engineering. We did comparison videos also between Cosmos, Polkadot, and even other chains like Solana, for example. But there's one specific crypto ecosystem that in fact is very similar in the goals and mentality as Cosmos, but has a very different approach and execution. And that is Polkadot and the whole substrate world. And that is exactly why we have partnered with Aleph Zero, which is a layer one blockchain that is actually built on substrate, but has a very strong focus on privacy and interoperability. In the next 12 minutes or less, you're going to get a full 360 overview of Aleph Zero, how it plugs into the Polkadot ecosystem and the broader landscape in crypto. Let's start with chapter number one, general project overview. Aleph Zero is built using Substrate, which is basically the Cosmos SDK equivalent on the Polkadot world. So Substrate is an SDK framework to build blockchains. So Aleph Zero itself is a layer one that is also envisioned to become interoperable with other ecosystems. Aleph Zero has extremely fast finality. In fact, sub second, 0.9 seconds as of right now, very high scalability and very low fees, which makes it very user-friendly and efficient. They currently have around 64,000 users and 127 active validators on the Aleph Zero mainnet. To talk a little bit about the team and the background, I personally got in touch with the Aleph Zero team around two months ago, and they seem to be extremely developer and tech focused, which is why partnering with us is also a great step to basically communicate a little bit more from the inside out on all the technical innovations that they're building and everything that they have been cooking for the past couple of months and it is now only coming out to the public. Now, Aleph Zero is maintained and developed by the Aleph Zero Foundation, which is a Swiss nonprofit organization and the core development team of Aleph Zero is called Cardinal Cryptography. The funding team of Aleph Zero has four people Three of them actually have a PhD, so they have a very strong also academic background. And the core team now consists of 55 members that are contributing towards the network's development and adoption. And 55, my friends, is a big number, you know, coming out of the bear market with a very strong team and surviving that bear market is really, really essential and going to give them a big boost. If we talk about the architecture, I already mentioned it's an L1 built on Substrate. But what I have basically innovated, how they can achieve such fast finality and high throughput is what's called the LFBFT, which is their own consensus mechanism. And the interesting part about that is that this consensus algorithm is actually DAC based, which means directed acyclic graph. Now the second major part and pillar of Aleph Zero is in fact privacy. And privacy in my opinion is still not really figured out in the broader crypto space. Even though we have projects like Monero that have been around forever, and in the Cosmos ecosystem, we have Secret Network, for example, there is still a lot of upside to improve specifically the user experience. And I'm gonna to show to you in a second also the current state of the UX in Aleph Zero, and it looks really, really cool. But when it comes to privacy, I think this is something that needs to be figured out, and it will be figured out. And in Cosmos, we have chains like Anoma and Penumbra, which are extremely promising, but also ZK technology, zero knowledge technology, which is also kind of a scalability solution, but also promotes this idea of privacy. Now, the way that normally privacy blockchains are working is that they employ one privacy technology in the project. For example, Secret Network that I just mentioned, they're using trusted execution environment technology. And the way Aleph Zero wants to approach this is by combining different technology stacks, such as zero knowledge proofs that are called ZK SNARKs and multi-party computation, MPC, to ensure the security and privacy of user data while still maintaining instant finality time. Before you continue watching, 
Thank you so much for subscribing to this YouTube channel. It really means a lot. Like this video, also share it with some of your friends. Also share this video on Twitter if you appreciate that type of content, if you find value in it. And now please enjoy the rest of the video. So the big juggle is actually here to ensure privacy while also um, not sacrificing decentralization, right? So that's really the big thing. And also, if we talk about design architecture, Aleph Zero also supports smart contracts. Since they are a substrate-based chain, they implemented Inc. And Inc. is basically the Cosmwasm equivalent for the substrate world. It's a Rust-based language that compiles to Wasm, which was developed by Parity Tech, which is the core company that actually built Polkadot. Now, if we talk about upcoming features and depths, this was just like a general overview of the, the, the architectural design common, which is a privacy enhancing cross chain DEX that will come sometime later this year. Now, if we talk about the next chapter, basically, which is the ecosystem and the depths, we can see that Aleph Zero is still relatively young. And to be honest, I personally have always heard about Aleph Zero before I got in touch with the team, but I never really did a deep dive and I never really heard about major partnerships or applications. So the ecosystem is still very young, but there are already over 30 teams building on top of Aleph Zero that ranges from DeFi to NFTs, DAO, GameFi, as well as identity management. And you can see the full overview of the Aleph Zero ecosystem here, along with wallets, for example, that you can use such as MetaMask, Nova Wallet, Talisman, which is a Polkadot native wallet that I've been using in the past and I think it's pretty cool. Um, Common that is coming out and um, a couple more. Now, also what Aleph Zero does is basically, as they're building this core infrastructure, they're also incubating projects that are building on top of Aleph Zero. And I think this is a really smart move that even projects in Cosmos sometimes are not doing. And I think this is a no brainer to do because obviously the team that has developed their own tech stack, they know it the best in and out, right? Most prominent projects that are incubated also by Aleph Zero have strong support from Aleph Zero uh, score team. ABAX and ABAX or ABAX is a lending protocol based on liquidity pools or lending pools, an innovative risk management model written in Inc, primarily targeting substrate based blockchains or also A0 ID, a leading domain service built on Aleph Zero that also implements privacy features. MetaMask Snap, which is also one of the biggest launches this year in the general crypto space. MetaMask Snap is basically an expansion of MetaMask to be compatible also and break out of this Ethereum only environment and to also just be targeting different communities and have also UX and onboarding for those different communities. So Aleph Zero will also be building on MetaMask Snap. Now that brings us to our next point, ecosystem funding. And actually one part of that is the funding itself of Aleph Zero. They raised uh, 50 million US dollars um, through VCs and community funding. All purchase tokens currently are 100% unlocked and the core team and foundations tokens are still locked linearly until November of 2026. Aleph Zero also has a $50 million ecosystem funding program to support projects that build on top of Aleph Zero. And each project can receive a grant funding up to $500,000 and get access to a network of VCs and incubator partners. So if you're a builder and if you are primarily focused on Rust, if you like the substrate environment and interoperability, then please drop me a message, leave a comment under this video, or just, just directly get in touch with the Aleph Zero team. Now, if we talk about tokenomics, and then I'll get to my conclusion, the A0 coin is the native coin of the Aleph Zero network. It's primarily there to secure the chain. So staking is the primarily uh, primary use case and um, also governance participation. Aleph Zero itself, or the A0 coin, has a total supply of 337 million coins. Currently, there are 235 million uh, coins in circulation, which brings it to a market cap of around 200 million US dollars at the current price levels, which obviously fluctuates a lot. Aleph Zero has a fixed inflation of 30 million coins per year, which are directed to 
stickers and validators. And if we go over to stickingrewards.com, we can see that the current sticking ratio is around 71.45% compared to Atom, for example, the Cosmos Hub, the staking ratio is just around 70%. So it's around a similar range. The current inflation rate um, based on the 30 million A0 being issued is around 9%, which gives a staking APR of around 11.5% and an adjusted reward, which deducts the inflation of around 3%. The lockup for A0 is 14 days and the minimum to delegate or nominate uh, as it's called in a substrate world, is basically 2000 A0, but you can also join a pool which brings down the minimum requirements to stake to, down to 10 A0. Now, this brings me to my final chapter, which is actually my conclusion. So to summarize, Aleph Zero is a substrate built layer one blockchain that is a general purpose and permissionless smart contract platform that strongly focuses on privacy and private smart contracts as well as interoperability which is really why it also resonates a lot with myself their dex and liminal the privacy enhancing engine will be available very soon and also i think one thing to really highlight here is that a0 is not a privacy coin as monero for example but aleph zero itself is more a privacy oriented blockchain so i think that's a key difference here to to really understand What's also really cool, um, and obviously I had long discussions with the teams over the past weeks and months, is that Alessio wants to really focus a lot on interoperability. They're also aiming to build a bridge or a connection, or maybe even directly integrate IBC into their layer one blockchain. And we've seen uh, projects like Composable Finance clearing the pathway here with the innovation of Centauri. And Centauri is in fact an extension of IBC that makes it compatible with the substrate world. Given that Aleph Zero has some uh, refinements and innovative, unique designs, that makes it a little bit more complicated to just directly integrate Centauri. So there is more development and research required. But I think that they definitely have the right mentality. As I said, also, I think because Aleph Zero is such a developer heavy uh, blockchain and ecosystem, I think, you know, partnering with Cryptocito makes a lot of sense because we try to basically translate what they're doing and we basically try to also um, help um, bringing this in front of the community for educational purposes. Now that said, I'm personally very excited about Aleph Zero. I uh, personally currently do not have a, a large stake or investment in Aleph Zero, but we are most likely going to also spin up a node with Stakecito. So if you're an A0 uh, holder, then you can also delegate your stake to us in the future. That said, leave me your comments, views, and thoughts about Aleph Zero under this video. I'm very curious if you heard about them before, what your thoughts are, um, and generally also between Polkadot and Cosmos, how do you see the dynamic evolving? Um, that said, check out also my Polkadot versus Cosmos video, um, Dot versus Atom, tokenomics revamp is coming up very soon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and be good.